Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got three excellent science news items to hit. Ocean dynamics and ice misbehaving at the North Pole, and they found an area where the crust is tearing apart below the surface. But we're starting with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. We've been waiting to enter the coronal hole solar wind stream enhancement, and that has happened overnight. We've got sunspots growing rapidly, and the next magnetic system on deck in the interplanetary fields. Let's take a look at those, starting with the solar wind. Purple line, second from the bottom. Plasma speed has gone up over 600 kilometers per second, categorizing this as a moderate solar wind event. The geomagnetic conditions remain outside of storm conditions, but you can see we've crept up off the floor and are knocking at the solar storm's door. Sunspots up next. This group has been the focus, but a small M-class impulsive flare just this morning tells us where inside of it to look. You see how rapidly the caboose is developing? That is our top flare watch today. The left side of the sunspot group, and in terms of the plasma filaments, it's the eruptive potential on the south right now. A couple of them lined up here for the next couple of days. And lastly, in space weather, as the big corona hole departs to the right, did you notice what's coming in on the left side? Next dark patch visible at the limb, and indeed, that is the next coronal hole system. We're switching from the positive to the negative field influence. We will be within that for at least an entire week. First up in the articles, I want to know if you remember our two videos from January 23rd. That was the day where the scientists had said that surface temperature exchange was how they wanted to guess at the subsurface heat transport currents of the AMOC. We rightfully knocked them around a little bit, and today, on top of that previous demonstration that actually measuring the current's character is better than guessing, based on something completely unrelated, this paper would now like to politely concur that salinity and density profiles, especially in the deep where the currents are actually found, is the best way to measure the AMOC not by guessing deep flow speeds based on surface temperatures. Speaking of the ocean, something just happened that hasn't happened in 25 years and which Al Gore thought would never happen again. Summer sea ice is back in the western Arctic, and it's highly likely that the tipping point of ice melt triggered cooling is about to be breached. Remember, it starts when the melting ice causes cooling and freshening oceans that suddenly can freeze and refreeze even while the air temperatures above them haven't quite caught on yet. Lastly, folks, they have determined that the Zagros region is tearing. This is beneath the range separating Turkey, Armenia, and Iran from Iraq and Syria, and this region now joins the West Mediterranean and the East African Rift as places identified as likely to be tearing in the future. As time grows short in all ways all the time, time for you to come out to observe a ranch for one of our special events. There's even more not on this list. You can find it at our events page at observerranch.com. We would love to see you in person. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.